I know it's, it's people that have left me comments and said, man, I needed to hear that. That's why I do what I do. It ain't even about how professional you are or how many $15 words you have. It's all about can people relate to you, you feel me? So we back, y'all. This is Big Bro Ty, AKA Ty Shy, coming back. And today we talking about how hurt people hurt people. So I'm talking to everybody, but specifically, you know, I want black people to listen to what I'm saying because black people in America, we come from a time when it wasn't cool to be black. So, you know what I'm saying? And ever since then, we've been trying to like recoup and, you know, figure things out for ourselves. So we come from a, a very hateful and hostile environment or society. And ever since, you know, those days we've been trying to build and try to grow and try to educate ourselves and it's a process and people don't understand that so that's what we're talking about i feel like we gotta learn how to how to forgive each other we gotta learn how to forgive our parents we gotta learn how to forgive um our brothers out here in these streets you feel me because we either was already here or we came from africa or we don't know where we from but we all have that struggle, you know what I'm saying? We came here and we learned everything all over. And then on top of that, we was given a whole bunch of hate and hostility when we was here. With that being said, you know, we'll be treated one way by the people that was in this, in this country. And then we'll go home and we'll treat our family members the same way we was treated, you know what I mean? With a whole bunch of hate and hostility. When that's what you inherit, that's what you pass down. That's what you have to give. Black men have been very hostile for generations to black women. And black women and men have been very hostile to their children. And of course you got some people that haven't been like hostile continuously over the generations, you know, and I think they, they have to thank God for that because it could have been the way it is for a lot of us, you feel me? Just because you succeed or you are further along don't mean that everybody is blessed in that way. Something happened for you and you know what I'm saying? You have to see that as a blessing because it don't happen for everybody else. Once we um, understand what we what our challenges was and you know how we going from one generation of slaves to freed men to you know men that's been freed for a generation or two or three and you know we gradually moving away from the mindset of a slave, I feel like we have to give ourselves a little bit of leniency and understanding and forgiveness because we we far from perfect, you feel me? So the things that I'm doing that's messed up, you know, I hope that my son can forgive me and be a better parent to his children. As I look at my, my mama, my grandmama, my great grandmama, I understand their struggle has been like on different levels. You know, my great grandma probably went through way more than my grandma. And then my grandma went through way more than my mama. And my mama went through way more than me. So hopefully we're getting better. You know what I'm saying? Some people ain't getting better. Some people are staying in the same mindset. You know what I mean? and passing on these negative things. So I think that, you know, as a people, we gotta grow. And that's for black people especially, but like everybody. I think that you have to look at your ancestors, look at what they went through and understand that y'all are different and hopefully for the better. And if if not, you know, be that, be that change that you wanna see as my wife always say. Be the change you wanna see because, you know, that's what matters, you know what I mean? You wanna be able to put your kids in a better position than what you are, you know, walking into when you come into this world. So, yeah, man, that's the conversation. Um, this big bro tie, I hope that was helpful. Um, if it was, let me know something in the comments. If you have something to add to it or if you disagree, I still want to hear from you because I don't know everything and I, I'm always willing to learn. So, yeah, man, big bro tie saying thank you for watching. Peace out.